Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Automotive and today I'm in the brand new Jeep showroom in the drive up that we just made a couple months ago. And I'm gonna be going over the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I got two different ones to my left and right. And the first one is just a normal Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with no special packages on it. And the other one is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package. And we're gonna get into all that entails and show you the differences between that package and one without that package. So let's get started and uh, grab your coffee. So the first thing that you're gonna notice in difference wise between the Extreme Recon package and the non-extreme recon package is obviously the tire size and the difference in wheels. On the extreme recon package, you're gonna get LT315 70R17 tires, and on the non-extreme recon package, you're gonna get LT285 70R17 tires. The other difference is the obviously the wheels. These wheels are special to the extreme recon package. They are beadlock capable, and on this Wrangler, these are the standard 17 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels, and they are not beadlock capable. There's also a height difference, and if you go to tiresize.com slash height cal dash calculator, you'll be able to punch in these numbers and get the numbers that I'm about to give you. So on the Extreme Recon, the tire height is 34.4 inches high and 12.4 inches wide. On the non-extreme recon package, it's 32.7 inches high and 11.2 inches wide. So that's 1.7 inches higher on just the tires on the extreme recon and 1.2 inches wider on the extreme recon package. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice just uh, from this shot right here is that you get these fender flares on the extreme recon package that uh, not only keeps the mud and everything from flying up onto your vehicle, but it's also uh, to be compliant with laws and regulations for highways. So those are the main differences and we'll get into the next stuff right now. Okay, so for the next differences uh, between the regular Rubicon and the Rubicon Extreme Recon, we are under the front body of the vehicle. This is the driver's side and you can see this bar right here, the sway bar link, and that is painted black. And if you measure that, it is six and three quarter inches from the top to the bottom. So six and three quarter inches. And if you go to the build sheet on this particular Rubicon, it says that it has a Dana M210 front axle. And that's all it says. Now, if we go to the Extreme Recon, package we are on the same side of the vehicle but you can see that that sway bar link is definitely not painted it's a different color and if you look real closely it is longer than the um, non recon package and uh, this one is actually seven and three quarters inch from bottom to top so it's an inch longer and if you go to the build sheet on this Wrangler, it says that it has a Dana M210 heavy duty uh, tube front axle. So this is the heavy duty version of the Dana M210. Let's get to the rest of the vehicle. So here's the original window sticker for this uh, 23 Jeep Wrangler four door Rubicon. You can see the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package is a $3,995 option and it tells you that you get these 17 by 8 inch beadlock capable wheels and the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar as well as the LT31570 R17 tires. On Jeep's website, however, it tells you that you also get performance anti-lock four wheel disc brakes. So on the front here, this is the front of the Extreme Recon tire package there's not a whole heck of a lot that's different from those brakes to the brakes right here so I was like boy what's what's going on but if we go to the back here are the brakes on the back of the non extreme recon package so they look 
a lot like the ones on the front. But if you go to the ones on the back of the Extreme Recon package, you'll notice that they are quite different. You can see the slots in there. Those were not on the uh, normal one. So that is the next major difference. You get the high performance four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes on the Extreme Recon package. The next big difference is that you can see on the regular Rubicon, the tire is basically just mounted to the rear gate and there's no real hardware that's associated with that. You just have the normal hinges on the gate. Now if we go over to the Extreme Recon package, you can see that this one has the hinge gate reinforcement. So that's pretty heavy duty steel there that's connected to the tip rear gate of the Wrangler. There's also a tire relocation kit to raise the tire up a little bit so it clears the rear bumper. And uh, otherwise everything else looks pretty much the same. Also included in this package is a jack spacer kit um, to help jack up the vehicle because it is a little bit taller, which brings us to the next big difference between these two vehicles. So the last thing I wanted to do with this particular video was find out the exact height of the Rubicon Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package compared to the normal height of the just standard Rubicon package. So what I did is went and grabbed my Lord Calvert tape measure and I measured from the bottom of the back tire through the axle to the very top of the Wrangler because this is the highest point on a Wrangler is right above the rear axle. And I came up with 75 and a half inches on the Rubicon Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package and it was 73 and a half inches on the regular Rubicon. So exactly after tires and suspension considered, it's exactly two inches taller from tires to top on the Rubicon Extreme Recon package. I also did measure the springs in the front and they are exactly one inch taller on the Extreme Recon package. Uh, they are 13 inches in the front and then they are 12 inches in the uh, normal Rubicon. So the last thing I wanted to talk about on the Rubicon Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package is that this one has the 456 gears and it also has the 6100 gross vehicle weight rating to it. And those are the final two differences. I can't really show them to you. I can just tell you about them. But those are the final two differences that I was able to find on the Rubicon Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package over the normal Rubicon vehicle. So thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe and share on the YouTube channel if you learned anything. If you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comments below. Love to hear your feedback as always. And have a great day and go get some coffee.